Hello everyone, this is Jean Marie's World. I'm going to show you how to do a paint pour. And um, you would take some plastic cups and pick the colors you want. You can pick maybe three to, as many as you want, maybe three to seven colors. Okay, make sure you have some stirrers. And here we go. So I have a little pink left. I'm going to put what I have left over in here and make sure you try to throw away the empty. Now, when you get Deco Art or any kind of companies, make sure if you get them, you shake it first. Uh, this metallic sometimes has the oil on the top. So when you first get it, shake it and stir it. Since I've opened this before, I am going to not, not stir it today. But this is the 24 karat gold color from Deco Art. And then this is a Art Mines. It's a beautiful turquoise color. Boop. And here we go. Just put the paint on the bottom. This is another nice metallic company uh, color, Deco Art silver okay and i would think maybe two more colors would be good i also like artist loft most of the paints are craft paints craft smart is another nice paint that's uh, michael's own brand joann's has an old their own brand also and so does hobby lobby Okay, so we have black, gold, pink, turquoise, silver, and yellow. And now make sure when you have your Floetrol, you, you get it from either Home Depot or Lowe's. Just shake it up. There might be some lumps in it. You can get the lumps out also if you want to try um, with the sticks. So just put a little bit more than your paint. You could tell the consistency by stirring it. If it's too thick, um, you want it a little bit like, um, I'll show you, kind of like thicker, not as thick as honey, but like a buttermilk kind of consistency. Kind of like this. As long as the paint comes off of the Stick, you're fine. Okay, just stir it quickly. Look how pretty it is. Already you're getting cells from the flow troll, which you know we're gonna be in the painting. Okay, see the colors? This is that nice teal. Just make sure you stir it so you can see the color and you don't see any more white from the flow troll. Floetrol makes it a little lighter, the colors. Now, for some reason, this is a little thicker. I could feel it. So I'm just gonna put a, a little bit more Floetrol in it. That's it. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna do a dirty pour today. And that means put all the colors in one cup, Put it in the middle and turn over the canvas. All right. Put a little coconut milk, not coconut oil. Just one drop is good or two. And then this is the three-in-one silicone you get at Lowe's, where you could get the Floetrol. That's good. Now, you don't have to stir that. Just keep it like it is, because when you stir it, you get small cells. When you don't stir it, you get larger cells. And then you pour the color little by little in the cup. Try to put the light, the dark color, the light, the dark. Try not to put two dark colors right next to each other. And if you like one color a little more, you can put uh, a little bit more of that color. Like I like the teal and the pink, so put a little bit more of that color in it. And look at the cup already. You can see what it's going to be looking like on the painting. 
Okay, and make sure you give about two or three days to dry these before you touch them and before you uh, put them in the house if, or put them in an area where people touch them. Okay, so it's nice to have a little black and a little light color like this silver. You could use white too. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of this um, craft paint black on the canvas. And don't worry if you get, just make sure it's flat though, because if you leave this there for a day, it's gonna be get a lump there. So what you do is just pour a little bit like that. And you can use a stick, you know, whatever. I like using the stick because I could throw it away. The least I have to wash for me is the better, better off. Okay, make sure you go over the sides with the stick. That's it. Doesn't have to look perfect. Here we go. See the colors? Right in the middle or a little bit up high. Leave it there for a minute. You can also, if you run out of flow troll, you can use glue all, Elmer's glue all with a little bit of distilled water. I always keep a little bit of distilled water in the house. Just a little bit, not too much. Okay, here we go. I think that's good enough. Look at that, oh my goodness, wow. See that, isn't that great? Looks like this, the satellites, the sky, the moon, the sun, and I can always save this. I will pick this up and use it for another color. It usually turns out to be dark brown or gray. Make sure you get all the sides and put your hand on the bottom. Try not to let the uh, colors come off to the bottom. Then, and make sure when you dry it, it's always on a flat surface. Beautiful, huh? The colors, I love the cells. Beep, beep, beep. Wow, cells are pretty nice size. Really, you don't have too many ingredients and you get the best outcome. All right, so now I'm just gonna put these colors back to where I painted on, and then I'm gonna dry it on a flat surface, which is this table has the best flat surface that I have. Here we go, right here. That's the flat surface table. And there it is. And if you want, when you're done, it dries a few days, you can also put a little varnish or coconut oil, something, something that makes it shiny. It sometimes dries not as shiny as it is right now. And that's too bad, but that's how it is. But it's so pretty. And that was so quick. I was quick to make a beautiful picture. That's why it's very, uh, very relaxing. Thank you, Jean Marie's art.